This project on the quad van is to install a secondary battery using the true complete 12 volt automatic dual battery kit. It comes with an isolation uh, uh, switch here, electronic. Uh, has the hardware and a ground cable. I'll use this back here for the battery which I'll place on a platform here. The battery will sit above and then I'll have storage underneath accessible for whatever uh, I need to put down there close, close at hand. And those cables and all will, will fit down below. There's a, a grommeted uh, access point to go out with this uh, I believe it's a six uh, gauge came with that kit and it will be able to run under the frame framework there up to the uh, battery compartment where I'll need to find a place to put that isolation switch and there's not access to any fender well uh, mounting in this battery area and more than likely I'm going to fit it down in here. Well I fabricated a platform and extended the area here to place that auxiliary battery and again there's storage underneath there I'll probably put a Old plastic tub and contain whatever I store there. Again, this platform very strong, and this uh, battery or this uh, toolbox will slide back in there, as shown earlier. Now the box that I'm putting that battery in that'll be placed there and secured down. I fabricated uh, here, so. Lid will fit on there and then it'll be uh, strapped around inside. Now, the box I plan on uh, routing the cables through a grommet here, the positive and negative cable will come down. I'm considering putting a vent tube which, he, which will uh, have a fitting to plug a, t a tube in. It'll route down to vent off this uh, wet battery. I went with a wet battery for what I'm using it for. It'll suffice. It's a uh, Walmart EverStart. There's been mixed reviews on that, but for my use, it'll be fine. It's a it's a deep cycle, and uh, in this box I fabricated out of wood actually remnants from the uh, APU enclosure I built in another video that I have posted. But that box is uh, it's tight, it's strong for what I'm using it for, and it will fit in the space that I created. Here's where I found a place for that isolation switch. It uh, runs to a ground down in here, and then each positive uh, from the back, let's see, from this auxiliary battery and the primary battery are hooked up there. Uh, I couldn't find a, uh, a red uh, battery cable, uh, so I used a, uh, a normal black ground which hooks into that. To the positive side and then of course there's the positive lead going back now for a quad band there's no room there's no uh, space uh, here other than in the uh, front bulkhead uh, there but that cable uh, stock from in that kit runs down 
underneath underneath the frame. I can't get a shot of it there. But it you can see a glimpse of it there. Comes across the back and comes up and into that battery box uh, that I fabricated. Okay, that isolation switch is down here. And again, this is that uh, positive cable using, a, unfortunately, a black uh, battery cable. And then down uh, below there, I've got it. That positive lead going back to the auxiliary battery tied down. Rear of the okay, so the function of this uh, isolation system is when that blue uh, light is on within the isolator uh, body itself, that indicates that it is uh, bringing up the starting battery to, uh, I think, 13.4 volts. And then at that point, it will begin to um, charge the uh, auxiliary battery. And Yes, it does its magic uh, from that point on. I'm not an electrical genius. I just follow directions and make sure I don't short things out. So that's uh, the progress so far in this part. Okay, so this is a view of the uh, auxiliary battery and the, uh, the wire cable connections. Uh, I've got the black grounded, of course, and that red goes on up there to the uh, ice. carry this. Uh, this power supply here to jump. If somebody needs uh, a jump, I have it. I don't jump uh, other cars from my van uh, power or By batteries. By the way, with this kit for the isolation uh, setup, these are the parts that are left over. Again, there were some options for uh, using uh, these screws for the mounting. I use the optional sheet metal screws. And then you have various lugs and other fittings that, uh, hands are kind of dirty, um, different fittings. I'll throw these in the parts bin and I carry in the van just in case I need something on the road. Anyway, job done, completed. I want you to get up and walk like a duck. Me? Yes. I always walk like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> do the duck walk. Hey, Mommy, let's do the duck walk. Do the duck walk.